Hey guys, it's Jeff with Jailbreak Movies. Got a quick question for you. Let's say you downloaded a new jailbreak tweak from Cydia, but then you started to suspect that this new tweak was having a conflict with something else that was running on your iPhone, maybe another tweak that you like to use. What would you do? Or maybe you downloaded a new tweak and it just started causing some obvious issues. Maybe it caused your iPhone to just randomly lock up or respring. What to do then? Do you go in and uninstall the tweak from Cydia? Well, you could, but what if you just are curious as to whether or not this tweak is actually causing a problem. Well, there's a quick way, a quick and easy way to disable a tweak from Cydia using SB settings. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now, I highly recommend using uh, this method because it makes it so quick and easy to kind of troubleshoot your iPhone. All you do is open SB settings. Now, once you have SB settings open, just go to your more option. And then you'll see a lot of different options here. No doubt you're familiar with those. But if you slide down here, you'll see mobile substrate add-ons. All right, so you just open that selection. And then you'll see all the tweaks and apps that you have installed right now. So what this basically allows you to do is just temporarily disable um, a tweak for troubleshooting purposes. So for instance, say I was having some problems with Switcher Plus. Say Switcher Plus caused me issues. It never does, but this is just a for instance. So I'll just turn off Switcher Plus, and all you do is just hit your home button. It's that easy, and your phone will respring for you. So once you get back to your home screen, Switcher Plus is completely disabled. It's not running at all. So this will help you easily figure out whether or not Switcher Plus is the cause of your issue. If your phone's still locking up or having problems, you know Switcher Plus is not the cause of the problem. So then you can go back in, go back to more, and from here you can go back to mobile substrate add-ons, enable the tweak that you disable, and then disable another tweak that you suspect may be causing your problem. So it's really that easy. Now one thing you want to remember about this option, um, this mobile substrate settings, is you don't want to disable a tweak and then go into Cydia and uninstall it. You want to make sure these tweaks are enabled prior to uninstalling or else you could have problems. So this is a quick and easy and painless way to troubleshoot issues with your iPhone. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. This is Jeff with JailbreakMovies.com.